So at this point, we've downloaded Dratus and we need to do the installation. You can see there's a number of dependencies that they call out. You need to have a Ruby interpreter, SQLite 3 libraries, and then the bundler gem. Now, once we've downloaded and we've unzipped it, we can actually take a look here at the framework and what we've got. So this is what's actually in the package that you download once you have untarred and unzipped it. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to do a reset. And the reset is going to do a little bit of cleanup, but it's also going to make sure that your dependencies are satisfied and make sure all of the Ruby plugins that are needed for Dratus to work are actually in place. So in this case, the dependencies are all there and we've got everything installed. So at this point, we're doing a checking for database migration, saving the backup, and now we're deleting attachments, cleaning the database and all of that stuff. So once all of the dependencies are in place, then all you really need to do is you can just start the Dratus server here, and you would do that using start.sh. So again, we're running this under Linux, and Linux is really where Dratus is the most comfortable. There isn't a Windows package for this any longer. So you're going to run it under Linux, and we're just going to run the start shell script, and it's actually going to start up Ruby on Rails. You can see that it's booting up WebRick, and we're doing Rails 3.2.0. We've generated a certificate so that we can do HTTPS and now we've actually got the application started up and here's the URL where we would access it. So just the IP address and then the port is 3004. So this is actually all of the certificate information right here that was generated when we started up Dratus. And now all we've got to do is bring up Dratus inside of a web browser and then we can actually get going with all of the work that we're going to do with installing notes and and importing data into Dratus from the various tools that we're going to be using.